happens on the front of customers or anything, guys. I'm familiar with this this time back with Marvel Legends US Agent John Walker Custom. I customized him, uh, did some detail on the helmet, and then the uh, chest. Did uh, some nice red detail. The chest area is some red right there because it wasn't accurate. And some white right there looking really nice. And sculpted detail. And you see, I put, used the block sharpie to you know, the, uh, cover up the, the, the A star because it's not. You don't that way you don't really see it because it's silver and it's not even supposed to be there. Some detail on the helmet it looks nice. These teeth on the helmet looking really nice. Yeah, really nice teeth on the chest as well. I really did yeah, really nice job on this figure. I'm really glad that he, he looks so screen dark right now. Okay, now let's do some nice versions. Here he is next step. So, we'll Captain America. They look together. Really nice. And then here he is next to Captain America John Walker. And so they look together. Back the camera up. So they look together. Really nice. And then here he is next to Winter Soldier Rocky Gardens. Which was uh, looks pretty dope. And then he's like some oh, my, only, my only other custom that, that that's in my collection, uh Rocky Five Iron Man from Endgame here. So they look they, they look together looking really nice. But yeah, this figure just looks so scopely detailed. I really like the detail you on the chest for this figure. It looks really nice, phenomenally in sculpted detail. All the nice detail you use on the chest. Like, there was red right here and the white. Originally, first, I, I had uh, tried uh, painting it. I mean, tried using the Sharpie, but that didn't work out. Let's see for the, uh, here's one that I used for the, uh, for the, for this right here, like the helmet and the stuff like this, the block, I used the, this block Sharpie to, to cover all that. And then originally when I originally was on the, I used, I done, tried using a red Sharpie, the red areas right here, but I painted over it because I didn't like how it looked. But yeah, and then I got some white paint. I should have even put some white on the almost, almost, Three white lines, and then got some red on where all the red is. Got some red paint as well. But yeah, this look. This really looks really nice. He's sculpted these. It's a really nice phenomenal cast. I'm really happy to have this in my collection. It, it, it's so much better than how it looked when I first got it from Hasbro. Because it was just really the chest was just awful. This is just phenomenal in sculpted detail. I really like all the nice detail I did. The red in the chest and the white. Just on the red right here and then the white all three lines right here. It's so sculpted detail, incredible. It's just really nice. He's sculpted on the chest, incredible detail. The red right here and white right here, all the nice fine detail on the chest. It's really nice. See that on this helmet. It's looking really nice in the back as well. Really nice. He's sculpted detail, incredible. But yeah, this looks really, really nice and sculpted detail. You really did a nice job on this, and this is just so sculpted detail. It's so incredibly detailed. I I did a phenomenal job. This thing is just so sculpted detailed. It's an incredible figure. It looks really nice and sculpted detail. All the nice fine detail I used. It's just a phenomenal figure, an incredible figure. I like all the nice detail I used. It's just so incredibly detailed, incredible. And all the nice paint that I use is so incredibly detailed. But yeah, though, that about does it for my uh, Marvel Legends, uh, US Agent, Rocket Winter Soldier. But yeah, though, thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe. Because I'll see you guys bye. And if you like this video, I'll see you guys bye.